Well, hello everyone and welcome back to Medieval Dynasty. So here we are. Uh, it is the very end of spring. Oh, before we switch over, uh, there's a few things. Well, let's double check. So, well, not a few things. Really one big thing that needs to be done. Uh, currently I have... Ooh, we're going to lose Radomir, aren't we? Well, we're going to find out. <laughs> so I'm going to... Uh, just move everybody out, and then we're going to reassign everybody to be a farmer. Uh, there we go. And how about Prisfit? Yes. And you can be a farmer. And let's see. Radamira, whom we're probably going to lose, but but you know what? That's fine. We will we will roll with the punches. And Radost. There we go. Excellent. All right. We have four, maybe three farmers. <laughs> there we go. All right. And uh, yeah, it's time to go into the next season. Hi, honey. I hope my feet aren't too cold. All right. So. Oh, there's a beautiful rainbow after it, after the rain. It looks nice. Your people seem happy. They consider it a good omen. Um, No restrictions. So it's just they consider it a good omen. Okay. <laughs> there we go. Oh, all villagers got 10 mood. Yay! <laughs> awesome. Oh, oh, now is uh do we have oh are we still oh still still infant? Hi honey, how you doing? Oh, you take such good care of him. All right, I'm gonna go and take care of business. You uh enjoy your day. Now, let's see what we're doing here. It's a oh, hang on. First of all, clothes check. I think we're good. Yeah, it's just basic clothing. Excellent, excellent. And, oh, there's some sweeping going on and people looking out at the water. And, uh, <laughs> dead rabbits. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, that's exciting. But look at this. We've got, uh, we've got cabbage. And I don't think, yeah, the oats aren't going to be ready yet. But, oh, flax. Lots and lots of flax. And we've got onions and more flax and more flax. And we've got wheat and cabbage and wheat. Wheat. <laughs> more flax oh yeah <laughs> so they're going to be very busy so i'm going to leave them as per usual i'm going to leave them to their own devices oh is there wait a minute is it in the fall or oh no look at that we've got <gasps> plums okay i'm going to collect the plums because uh i think i get a more of a bonus to harvesting than my people do and this will it's it'll save some time because then they don't have to do it oh now Oh, okay, the cherries are ready. Okay, we're going to get the cherry tree. There we go. And is that it? I think that's it. The other uh, little little fruit trees are not quite ready yet. They're still growing. I have more, th more that I need to plant, but it's just a matter of, you know, working out where they're going to go and stuff like that. And we'll, we'll sort that out as time goes on. Hey, guys, seriously. Come on. Look, here, light a fire. There you go. Yeah. Excellent. Now, I want to check something else out. If we take a look at, if we go into management and then we go to extraction, a herbalist hut. Ooh, the well. Oh, wow. Okay, we're going to have to repair it, but let's take a look. It looks like, okay, so most of the things that I have, oh, actually, there's even more stuff. Invalid season, free time. Okay, so we have to redistribute a little bit. Uh... Yeah, I mean, we, we could gather some berries. I don't really worry about berries too much, but I think we're going to have to bring this down to... Let's do 10% on each one. Uh, this is horribly inefficient, but I just want I just want them to be gathering stuff. And then we'll go... Uh, I don't know. Let's do 10 here. How many... Well, we don't have a lot to work with, do we? Maybe 10 here. And let's do... Yeah, is it just a little bit... Here, we'll just boost that, that, that 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 and i think we're at 100 percent now all right so we're in good shape okay well we're in reasonable shape <laughs> berries i'm not too worried about they're great in early game now what are we dealing with as far as uh oh we've got a couple of houses that need some repairs um we've got a and one of the resource storage buildings probably the first one the big the one that that i use all the time probably needs repair now we're going to repair that. So we got three buildings that need repair. Let's get that all taken care of. It's kind of your standard beginning of the season stuff. Oh, and we've got a bit of rot here. Uh, I'll have to dump that in the food storage area. 
And what have we got? I need uh, probably sticks and straw. So we're just going to grab, I don't know, a few of you and a few of you. Not that many. There we go. Uh, get out the uh, hammer. Set us to re not destroy, repair. Oh, yeah, look at that. There we go. And it looks like everything else is good. And then, oh, there's one house. Yeah, the houses that are going to have damage are going to be down at this end. Because they're kind of the oldest houses. Uh, I do need to replace them. I need to get these all fixed. We're going to work on that. But first, we have other priorities. And uh, I will get to that. Oh, wow. This, this house really was in trouble. <laughs> oh, man. I'm sorry about this. Oh, well, I'm getting to it very quickly, though. So hopefully they uh, understand. And there's you. And then is there any any more? Okay, I think that's it. Now, if we take a look at the... Let's see if there's any more that are... Okay, the houses are fine, right? Uh, extraction is fine from a repair perspective. We don't have a, anybody in the well. That's okay. Hunting? The hunting lodge needs repair. All right, let's go get it. Again, one of the oldest buildings in the village. So that does make sense. And it looks like... Ooh, more multiple sort of pieces of it. Oh, everybody's working already. Hey, 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 I see you in there. You're not working. <laughs> He's like, hey, you fix the building, I'll get to work. All right, all right, all right. Man, I, these guys are tough. And there we go. Oh, yeah. Okay, let's see if there's any more um, building any anybody else need okay so hunting is good right extraction is good Hunt, wait a minute is that true yeah uh farming the barn is in good shape uh the goose house and the the uh, pig side are fine so we're gonna leave those alone uh these guys they they need materials but that's not unusual and storage is all good okay so we've taken care of that um we we have four four geese uh, sorry two geese and four pigs um, I should discuss the geese situation. So I'm not really in a hurry for there to be more than two geese. Um, I'm running an experiment right now. So uh, lots of people have said, stop gathering eggs. If you're gathering eggs, you're not going to get goslings. I understand. I do. And I even probably agree with you. But I do want to make sure that, like, I'm right now I'm not in a rush. It's all good. Um, and uh, what I, if you take a look, I am only gathering eggs at 50%. So if I was gathering at 100%, then you, you know, that's a fair number of eggs. That's, um, you know, that's not all of the egg. Well, not a fair number of eggs, but it's not all of the eggs. And so, well, okay, a type of food collected by the animal breeders at the hen, hen house can be consumed or cooked into various dishes. I, I, th I, th Think that, uh, so if everything I've looked at, all of the literature, all the stuff, the wiki, I've looked at, looked it up, never mentions that egg gathering will interfere with gosling production. Is that true? It might not be, but I, I'm, I'm trying to find out. The problem is that uh, because we only have uh, a, one goose and one gander, the way it works is for every gander, you get the, for every gander with a goose, Okay, it's 15% chance of a gosling in a given season. And so, uh, you know, that's pretty slim odds, right? Doubling the number of ganders would, would make that 30% chance. Now, is that, is there any other factor? Is there, is, does collecting eggs make a difference? I'm not sure. Uh, it probably does, but I'm not in a rush. And I thought, you know what? We're just going to let them do their thing over there and uh, we're, we'll find out. We're going to find out. That's that's what that's the approach that I'm taking. Put the axe away, buddy. Don't do that. Um, uh, it was me that did it, actually. I shouldn't really say anything. Uh, these cabbages that I have on me are uh, in terrible condition. So we're going to drop here. Is there anything else? Uh, you can go and... Oh, the cheese? Oh, no. I should have sold the cheese. Oh, well. That's a bummer. I have cheese on me because I want to... Uh, I want to sell it. It's stuff that I got from uh, the farmers and the the uh, the the, uh, the bandits and stuff like that. Now, 
Yes, that's right, bandits. He's like, those guys are, those guys are animals. Yeah, yes, they are. Yes, they are. They're not civilized like folk like us, are they? No, sir, Rebob, sir. <laughs> I really love the animals in this game. They, they, they don't just stand there. They've got like, you know, they move around and stuff like that. Okay, we've got extra logs here. What is the log situation? And what is the firewood situation? 148. It actually is holding steady. That's probably because it's summer. Uh, logs are at 138. Planks are at 17. I'm really not producing a lot of planks because I deprioritize them. Um, flax is, look at that, 183. That's, that's just fresh gathered. That's freshly gathered. All right, so what is it that I want to do? Well, first of all, uh, I want to put in a stable. And you know what I think? I think the stable could go right here. But, oh no, you say. There's a there's a resource storage building there. You would be 100% uh, correct that there's a, a resource storage building. But I think the stable should be not maybe in the center of the village, but but closer to the center. Now, if we here, if I stand here and, you know, you take a look... I'm, you know, this, this is the village sort of area here. That's, that's, you know, the center is here, but that's not far off. Um, I, I don't know. I think it's a good idea. So how am I going to get rid of that resource storage? Well, I can get rid of that one by upgrading this one. And so that's what we're going to do. Uh, I want to upgrade this resource storage. For that, I'm going to need uh, logs. So we're going to grab you and, oh, I don't know. Can we grab you too? Am I pinned to the floor? Yeah, probably. Okay. How about, can we um, drop some of these? Drop 20 of them. And, oh no, okay. Let's drop 20 of them out here. Uh, there we go. And let's grab these ones. Is there anything else on the floor? What I'm trying to do is I just want to get stuff up off the floor to so that it's nice and simple. Okay. And um, do I need the hammer? Let's try it without the hammer. Uh, no, right. What we do is we go to building. I'm uh, sorry, I don't do this very often. And so I'm trying to figure this out myself. If we go to resource storage two. All right. <laughs> oh, I've got, oh, I'm full of materials. <laughs> oh my goodness. I've got 36 logs on me. Oh, that is so cool. Can I access this? I can. All right. So... We, I don't know if we need sticks and straw. Let's keep the sticks and straw on me. And then what I'll do is I'm going to gather these 20 logs. We're going to get out our hammer. And we're going to make sure that it's building mode. And is what is this roof? Plank. So we don't need the straw. Okay, so it's there's no straw involved in this scenario. So you go away. And that also probably means there's no sticks. This is probably a pure log building. So we're going to just start upgrading. And we're going to work on this. So that's nice. We got 36. Well, I think we got 36 logs out of that. That's really cool. Now, what would be nice is if the uh, game would, instead of handing me 36 logs, if it would just automatically pump those logs back in for the as part of the upgrade process. But you know what? I am not going to complain. Oh, I'm super slow. But that's okay. Once we get uh, over here, for example, we can... Let's do that. And am I going to be a bit more mobile? Yeah, I'm a little more mobile. We'll do this one floor piece here. And get this wall going. Now this will, this, this, um, the, 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 the level one resource storage, I think it's 500. Uh, this one is a, a level two is a thousand. So by, by converting this into a level two building, it, it, it does two things. The first is that, uh, I don't have to repair this building now for quite a while because it is logs and, and it'll be logs and planks for the roof. So it really is quite resilient. Um, yeah. Uh, oh, that's, that's all of those. Okay. And all right. Well, I guess that's it. Now we have to dig into our supply. Uh, so that's the first thing. The, the building does end up being more resilient. Uh, let's grab 30. Okay. Uh, the second is, uh, it means that basically if I destroy the other, the, the resource store level one 
um, that one, that other building, uh, then this one will um, make up for it. Now, some those among you that might say, well, but oh no. <laughs> Uh, you're going to need that storage. And I would agree with you. And in fact, uh, but but I don't want to build it here. If I do build another storage, it'll be somewhere else. Um, it's just this, the real estate in the village is too precious. Now, what is the situation with planks? It's probably pretty dire. If I remember, it was 17. Yeah, it's 17. How many uh, logs do I have on me? 10. How about we grab... What, what's my weight at? 55? Why don't we grab um, another 10 logs and we're just going to start working on uh, or, you know, like, I don't know. There we go. We're not too slow. We're slow-ish. I'm going to start working on making a bunch of planks because I'm going to need them for this roof. Uh, but this is all part of the plan. So, and then these guys, are they still working? Look at that. They're working hard. Awesome. Oh, I'm going to have to interfere with your... Uh... <gasps> oh, look at that. The logs are overflowing into the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's because... Yeah, I think something happened that uh, interfered with that. All right. Now, uh, Noya, can I... Can I... Um, do you mind if I work on... I just need to make some... Okay, thank you. Well, if you must. What? Are my planks not good enough? I assure you, your planks are wonderful. I'm just trying to do my part for the village. I hope you don't mind. There you go. And that should make you happy, I hope. So how many planks am I going to need for the roof? I am uh, not actually sure. Um, hopefully we're going to be able to... Uh, well, it doesn't matter. We, we always need planks. So I'll just convert all of this into planks. And uh, yeah, whatever we use. If we make too much, then we'll just put it away. If we need more, we'll just make more. But I am curious. I don't think there's a lot of logs in this uh, overflowed into this building, into this uh, woodshed. Um, maybe like uh, 10 logs or something like that, if that. So we're, we're going to take a look before we head back down to the to the finish off the resource storage. But I am curious. Oh, look at that. Planks weigh less than logs. Makes sense. There's loss, right? <laughs> Do, 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 do. Now, I don't think I'd use a, you know, wood plane for making planks, but hey, you know, who am I? <laughs> I am not a medieval uh, woodsmith. <laughs> woodsmith. Yeah, I, do, I made that up. <laughs> I wonder if there is such a thing as a woodsmith. I don't know. Okay. But yeah, you see there's logs that have overflowed. There's... Oh, it's firewood. Oh, well, we're going to grab that. Um... Now this one probably I don't know what the, what's in here is that just logs? This is my log production building. Yeah, there's eight. I'm already overburdened, so I'm not going to grab them. But they'll get used. Those they don't just disappear. And how many uh, planks do we have? Forty. Okay. Well, I guess we're going to find out if that's enough. My hammer is almost dead, but we can always make another one if we have to. How about uh, do we have a spare hammer? Uh, no, we don't. Do we have any hammers in here? Uh, tools. Uh, wood hammer. We've got 28. Do you think, uh, do you think, um, <laughs> do you think, think any could be spared? Just out of, off chance? Oh, we need logs too. Okay. All right. All right. Well, we'll have to, we'll have to do that. Let's just get the planks in then. And then we'll come back and do a log, do a round of logs. In fact... Yeah, we'll do it. To, yeah, we'll do it that way. Do, 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 do. Oh, that's all that one done. Wait a minute. How many is that? What have I got left? Management. No, inventory. Oh, yeah, we're going to have enough. We're going to have enough. That's half the building done, and we have um, over half of the, uh, the planks that were available to us are here. Oh, yeah, we're going to have more than enough. Look at that. Yeah, we're going to have 10 left over. So I guess that was... We had 40. That's 30. I guess it was 30 planks that we needed. Okay, so the, the firewood goes in, the planks go in, and then let's grab logs. Logs, logs. Um, I don't know. We'll grab a bunch. And you, and you, and you. <laughs> oh, there goes the hammer. And you. 
And bunga, bunga, bunga. There we go. 4,000 storage. Now, if I delete the other resource storage building, is it 1,000? Um, or I can't remember if it's 500 or 1,000. Let's just go delete it. It's not, it's fine. We don't, I, I'm really not worried about it. Um, there's nothing stored on the, on the ground, on the floor in here. Uh, this was a more of an emergency building. Uh, I like having just the one. And then if we need more resource storage, we can always put them in different locations. Like, like we did, we put that one up at the, uh, the mining thing. If we want to increase storage, we could upgrade that one to a, um, a full, you know, uh, uh, a tier two resource storage. That'll give us more as well. So, yeah, I like that better. Uh, so let's see. If we want to... Do I have to do this the slow way? Oops, no. Do I have to do... No. What? Oh, my goodness. Ah! Destroy. I guess we have to do it this way. Goodbye. Goodbye. Goodbye, resource storage building. You serve me well, but your time is near. And nobody should be forced to listen to me sing because it is truly awful. Okay, there we go. Uh, and then you, punka. Ha <laughs> ha! And I'm overburdened because, oh no, no, by the way, don't, yeah, put that, put that away. That away, we don't want to, yeah, there we go. We don't want to accidentally, um, how stinky am I right now? 10%, you know what? Pretty good, considering I just built a barn and destroyed another one. Uh, not barn, but you know what I mean. Resource storage. Okay, let's put you away. Although, we have uh, part two of our plan has to be implemented. Because that's what this is all about. Let's uh, clean ourselves up. Nice refreshing little break. And then we gotta do the other, the next phase of the operation. Hey, look, berries. We're gonna put in a stable. Now, I'm probably gonna have to cut down at least one tree. In fact... We, why don't we... But I want to find out. Let's go... Well, first of all, what do I need to make a stable? Um, animal husbandry? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here it is right here. Ten logs. Okay, let's go grab ten logs. And what's our storage at now? Three thousand. So each one gave us a thousand. Okay. All right. I wasn't sure. Uh, but we're, we've got... We're doing fine. Um, worst case scenario is I start pulling logs up. But we're using them anyways. Let's just grab 20 because we're going to need, uh, we're going to need more any, you know, regardless, right? What else do I have in my inventory anyways? Nothing? That's 50. That's 50. That, that's how much, oof, no wonder. Logs are not, they're not light, I tell ya. Alright, I want to fit a stable into this space somehow. We might have to clear a bit of logs, uh, some logs to get it in here, but... We're just going to do it anyways. A building and then animal husbandry and a stable. Oh, it fits. Oh, look at this. Oh, that, that this is actually, you know what? This isn't bad. Now, can I get it so that it's a little bit less pillory? Like uh, by that, I mean like up on pillars. Uh, no, you know what? Let's have it on the main drag. Let's have it facing the main drag like this. Yeah, yeah, there we go. There we go. And, no, I know it's not on a card, but it's, 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 look at that. It's lined up with the road. I think that that's what I, that's what I want to do. Not bad. Not bad. I think we can, you know what? That's gonna, that's gonna be great. Uh, oh, nope. There we go. That's what we want. All right, now. It's going to be, what is it? It's going to be logs. Oh. Yeah, logs. Okay, let's get the logs. As many of them as we can in here. And, uh... <clears throat> like I say, you know, we, we can always... We're going to upgrade the other uh, resource storage up at the other place. If we want to get more. Or I can build another one, just put it, just put it somewhere a little bit less in the middle of things. It, this... Yeah, I think that's just, that's the way it's got to be. Uh, let's grab 20 more. 2,500. Yeah, see, we've got 500 left. It's all good. We're fine. Everything's fine. Everything's under control. I assure you. Everything, nothing to see here. Okay, let's get this going. Uh-huh. There we go. Oh, oh, hey, we got doors and everything. 
Oh, nice. How about you? Are you are you just an Oh, you know, you're Oh, you're straw. Oh, that's the roof piece. Oh, okay. You're a log though, aren't you? Yeah, you're logs. Let's get you going. And you. There we go. And maybe this this Oh, no, that's planks. Ooh, we're going to need planks for this too. Oh. All right, good to know. All right, so we're going to need planks. Uh, five, probably ten, twenty planks. Ooh. Twenty planks. Oh, well, let's get some planks happening. I think we should have, there was seventeen plus ten. Should be at least twenty-seven. Yeah, there we go. Twenty-seven. And twenty. There we go. Let's do, let's do the planks. Switch things up a bit. Logs were getting boring. Okay. Do, 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 do. Uh, probably my... Oh. Oh, it was for that whole thing. Oh. Oh, okay. Okay, I didn't need that much. That didn't... Okay, all right. All right, I hear ya. I hear ya. Okay. I'm, I'm happy about this, by the way. I don't want to use all those planks. But we're going to grab... I don't know. Uh, another 20 logs. Why 20? Because it's what I can kind of reasonably carry while still kind of managing to walk not terribly slowly, just somewhat slowly. Okay. Let's get you. And you need a log. And you need a log. Who else needs logs? You got... Log! Log! Is that it? Straw, straw, straw. Okay, we need straw. We just need straw now by the looks of it. Is this all? It is. Ooh, look at that. There's, uh... Oh, cool. It's a nice little touch, actually. I like the attention to detail. It's the little things that they add that make it kind of feel cool. All right, straw. How much do we need? Don't care. Just going to grab a bunch. Because uh, straw is light. And 90 is going to be way more than we need, and I'm still running. Excellent. The only problem with straw is that that means that this roof is going to have to be repaired fairly frequently, but we'll see. I like That's why I like the uh, plank roofs. They're just more resilient. Okay. Oh, there's another one. Oh, there's. this is a separate piece. Okay. And how's my hammer holding up? It's okay. I like the music, by the way. I looked it up. Um, it looks like there was a there's like the the composer. It's a it's an individual that was hired, and uh, she does some. Uh, I think it's I think it was the yeah she does good work yeah. She did some other stuff, and it was really cool. They, if you go to the, um, uh, is it the Toplets YouTube channel? I think it is. It's the channel for this, uh, the, the, for the for the distributor of this game, uh, publisher. And uh, there's lots of cool videos. They talk about stuff, and yeah. I think this is good. All right. Can we name this uh, stable if we wanted to? Sure, but we're not going to. And we've got a nice empty chest here. But look at that got a stable. Excellent. Shall we uh, put stuff away and think about the next step in our plan? Uh, we have to do some prep, okay? Um, the it, it would be, what I'd love to do is go out and run out and get a, uh, oh, this rot shouldn't be in here, I don't think. No, that's in my inventory. Um, the next step in this plan is uh, should is not to go out and just run out and get a horse, okay? Although I might, because <laughs> I really want a freaking horse. I don't even remember how much they cost though, and that's a that's the problem. Uh, we probably don't have enough cash, and I'm gonna need for them these guys to to. Oh, well, they've got a lot of work to do. Oh boy, oh boy. I might. You know what I might do is I might have to help them out. I might have to help them 
a pitch in with the uh, with the work. So I'm gonna here. I'm gonna grab. Oh hey, fish terminators doing his thing. Let's check out his. See if his focus is still good. Dun 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 dun. dun, dun. <laughs> yep, fish terminator. Fish terminator is still on the case. Uh, all right now. Um, yeah, I'm gonna need a bunch of cash. A bunch of cash. Uh, I'm gonna make a... Can I make a scythe? Is it possible? Is there a bronze scythe? There is. It's. Uh, I have to buy the schema for it, but I'm gonna do it because it's. it needs to be done. One stick, one log, four bronze uh, bronze bars. We have those, I think. So let's go grab. Uh, first of all, the four bronze bars. We have exactly that. And we can get one stick, uh, one log, and one... Was it literally one stick? Weird. That is... Uh, that's... That's... Okay. I'm... Yep. That's cool. <laughs> I don't know what they're doing with that one stick, but <laughs> maybe it's like a, what do they call it? like a kind of a medieval cotter pin or something like that. Sort of, you know, holds the glue. It's, the, it's what holds everything together. All right. We should have ourselves a nice bronze scythe. I'm going to put that in uh, slot four. There we go. There it is. Now, is, are my people done for the day? No. Okay. I'm going to help by doing a bunch of the uh is this flax yes i'm gonna do a bunch of the gathering for them wow the scythe is freaking amazing but you got to be careful it does do damage and if you have like a, a goose in here or a little piglet or something uh it will it will take it out look at this oh it's like hey guys look at this it's the latest technology of course, I'm not doing it right, but that's okay. Oh, yeah. See, I should be able to... Uh... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. What's my weight at? We're good. Uh, let's get the other flax. This is one that I should be doing because it's so far away that... Um, it's so far away that uh, it's, it, it's a bit slow for them... Oh, the lights came on. Oh, their, their day is over anyways. Okay. All right, that's fine. And... Whomp. And how's my weight? Fit 45. Okay, we're doing good. Excellent. So I have, so far, I have 250 some odd flax on me. Actually, you know what? Do I have any skill points that I can spend on farming? Because I wouldn't mind uh, <clears throat> increasing my yield. Farming master, stamina. Okay, that's stamina. Farmer's trance, faster farming, right? Uh, skilled farmer. Ah, 50% chance of additional crops. So, yeah, we I do get a bonus. I get additional crops. So it's actually good, for, especially for money crops. If I do the actual harvesting. Now, does that bonus pass on to my people? Like, do they get a, uh, access to that too? I don't know. I don't... Something says no. Something is... I'm, I'm thinking I, they don't get that access to that bonus. But that's okay. Um, this will accelerate their... Uh... Yeah, I'll, I'll get all this work done. Oh, the scythe is, is really good. And it's holding up pretty good. And I should do the wheat, too. Do, 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 do. There we go. Can I do the wheat? Yes. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> do, 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 do. Now, if they were to use the scythe, uh, would it be as quick? I don't know. I don't think they could actually harvest it as fast. They would be quicker than I think they are right now, probably. I would have to imagine. But I think me doing it is definitely quicker. And I'll leave the the, uh, the rest of it to them. But this is what... I, the harvest in, in summer, especially, yeah, for is, is really where the... That's where what I need them to do. That's what the... 
the priority is. Now, how's my weight? We're at 73. Um, so we can... Uh, somebody pointed this out to me, and I didn't even realize it. If you go and look at uh, flax in, in here, it's stored in resource storage. Wheat is also stored in resource storage, which is basically... It makes sense. It's stored there until... You need to, uh, until it's ready to be, like, that, until it's threshed. And then the grains themselves might be stored elsewhere, but I don't, maybe don't think. So 500 flax. So how much flax do I have in total now? A th 1,131. Yes. Yes. Hey, oh, bird trap. There we go. No, okay. Let's go finish this off. Do, do, do. But I need the money, so that's what this is all about. Uh, the flax is is where I make cash. Uh, I'm going to need a lot of cash to, to finance this whole business. Um, the next thing I need to do, it's not enough. We're going to do horse first, not the donkey. Um, why? Because, uh, quite frankly, the horse is a... It, it's better for transportation between villages, and that's really what I need right now, is the ability to, to, to uh, move quickly from place to place. Uh, wastes less of less of my time, and honestly, you know what it really is? Wastes less of less wastes less of your time, and that's really kind of that's actually my priority. So, all right, feathers go in here, wheat goes in here, and we could probably put away the uh, the scythe. It's still hey, look at that twenty twenty eight percent. Someone's gonna get some use out of it. Do they still have any um, uh, sickles? I think there were stone sickles that they were using. Yeah, 14 of them. Okay, we're in good shape. All right, so, um, oh boy. Let's take a look. Oh, okay, yeah, here, take a have, look at this. <laughs> He's like, that was exhausting. Yes, sir, I understand. Um, you know what? I'm gonna eat the plums. Ooh, they don't really do much, do they? Yeah, we're, the fruit trees will be more important later. But for now, I'm just going to dump them in here. Let's see. Uh, the cherries, the meat. We could, yeah, we could sell the plums. The rot can go in here. How's the storage? It's still good. Okay. The wheat beer I'm going to keep on me. And I do. I, I need to go in, in in town and sell some of this stuff. Um, but maybe not right now. Here, let's just if if we if we store it in here, it'll it'll last longer than in my inventory. Uh, I'll keep the wheat beer on me. How much? It's yeah. It's not that heavy. And the berry wine. Okay. All right. I need some eaten cabbages. Let's grab 20 of them. There we go. And oop, oop. there we go. That's much better. All right. So <laughs> we've done almost all the harvesting. The only thing we didn't do is harvest the onions, the cabbages. And uh, yeah, I think that's, is that it? That there's probably, there might be other things, but oh, they planted these cabbages. Oh, nice. Good job, guys. Good job. Uh, they, they should be able to, oh. What a cad. I am such a cad. Okay. Um, if we take a look at the youngest people in the, in the, in the family, we've got him. We got Merold here and Dob Dobroyoya. Do I can't, I'm sorry. I'm butchering that. Um, Radamira has had her baby and so has Metarika. Oh. I didn't check the staffing situation. I, I overlooked that. I went right into harvest. Okay. All right. The well is doing fine. We don't need to worry about the hunting lodge. Needs to... Oh, no tools. I might have to borrow some. What do you? What is it that you need? You need uh, knives. Knives. Okay. You, you're, you don't have any knives. Interesting. 
Not even stone knives, huh? Okay, well, I better do something about that. Um, stone knives, if I remember correctly, because I used to make them for cash, are sticks and stones. So why don't we whip up some... Let me get that done. I'm going to whip up some... Quick and dirty here. We'll, we'll whip up some stone knives for for the village. Um, for the for my for my uh, my hunters. We can make twelve. That'll cover them for a little bit. And what do I need to do? Okay, so this gives us an opportunity to stop and think for a minute. First of all, we have to figure out. Uh, okay, we we know we lost a farmer. Who else did we lose? Did we lose the smith? I think we lost the smith. That's why we ran, we ran out of knives. Yeah, I think that's what it is. That makes sense. I might have to look into that. So, I think the smith is important. Um, I'm not sure exactly how I'm going to fix this. <laughs> I, it's going to get worse, too. We have more pregnant... Uh, the li ha Before, in, uh, in the last season, uh, while we were still in spring... Literally half of the ladies in the village are pregnant. And I'm not, I don't mean, uh, like, exaggerating. Half of them, no, no, there's only ten. There's only ten couples. Ten, or ten, five of them were pre pregnant. <laughs> so, mathematically half. <laughs> oh, my goodness. And everybody's like, uh, I've had a few people going, uh, you, I think you might have a problem. Yeah, well, I'm in denial, all right? We're, I'm not thinking about that right now. There we go. I'm going to shove those in there, and we'll put these guys away. But we've got to figure out what else is going on. All right, so that's that. We sorted out the um, the hunting lodge here. Let's let the hunting lodge think about its, uh, about its life. Here, we'll wash ourselves. <clears throat> it's nighttime. N nothing else is happening right now, so... Okay. Uh, management buildings. Here we go. What are you? What else are you missing? No tool. Knife. 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 Is it gonna wait until um, morning till they go back to work? Okay. Well, we'll deal with it then. They've got knives. I'm um, there. Uh, they're fine. Okay. Now, what else? The stable. Oh. That's, I'm going to need somebody for the stable. Right now, we're not worried about it because there's nobody there, right? So, no animals. So, we're, we're cool there. Okay. Production. Is it the smith? It is the smithy. The smithy is down. Who's in the Baldemar? Five? All right. Baldemar! <laughs> Whoop, no, 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 Baldemar. Baldemar. You're the new blacksmith. <laughs> the sewing hut, I can get away with because I can do the sewing hut work for now. Uh, but the smith, the smithy is what, who, the smithy makes all the tools for everybody else. If the smithy's down, then, then I have to start thinking about how many uh, hoes there are, how many knives, how many scythes, all this stuff. So that and that's why the hunters ran out of knives because of the, the I should have I should have thought of that and I didn't. And that's it. So we're in good shape. Uh, but it's only going to get worse. Currently we we're going to lose uh, at some point. It's probably not right away. I think we've got a couple of seasons before this is going to become an issue, but uh uh big noir uh, I think is how you say that. I'm not sure. Not okay, no it isn't how you say it. Uh, but, uh, yeah, she is currently the animal breeder. She is my, uh, goose lady. And so, um, yeah, we're going to lose her. Uh, De La Bora is a miner and she works in the excavation shed. So now she's only one half of the mining team. So we, we're, we're pretty okay there. And then finally the workshop, we're going to lose the workshop. Now the workshop is not so critical. In fact, I could put, cause right now we've got. I mean, I want to show you something here. Show you something. We currently have 83 
wooden bowls at 100% and 131 wooden plates at 100 I think we're good on plates and bowls. So you know what? Do you think maybe, uh, you know, let's take a look. We can we can maybe make, make better use of her. Um, uh, workshop. Uh, Nita Mira. She's pregnant anyways. You know what? Let's let her do it. Let's let, she's happy there. Let's let's not bug the pregnant lady. <laughs> let's just let's not yeah, let's not let's not do that. You know, or we could get her sewing. I bet she she'd enjoy that. I think something she could make some hey, gives her an opportunity. Maybe she could make a nice little um some a nice hat for her baby or something like that. I think that you know what? I'm gonna go with that. That's my uh that's my thing. Um so basically we're gonna move her from the workshop into the um, the sewing hut. Uh, uh, Nita Mira is a seamster. And I think she gets, th uh, she'll probably get better experience there, so that's fine. Oh, boy. This got more complicated, and it's just going to get even more complicated as time goes on. Who's over here? Soberad, Ostrobod, Vojbor, Bernadetta. Hi, Bernad... Is that a pear? Where do you guys get pears from? There's no pear trees. What pear? No pear. <laughs> oh, it's a beautiful night. All right, well, I think what I'm going to do is uh, let's go to sleep, and we're going to move into day two of summer. And, yeah. Oh, wait a minute. How, how am I doing? Am I... Hey, I'm clean. Excellent. Hey, honey. <laughs> there we go. All right, off to work. Bye. Oh. This is disgusting. So what we need to do now is we need to go in to uh, take a look at what the situation is for um, tack. So if we go into the tailoring table, there is a section for mount. And it's and it's not just the state the saddle. The saddle is important. It's going to cost us five hundred to make uh, the saddle, and to even buy the schema, right? And it's going to need leather, tin, wool, which we happen to have a little bit of, so we're good there. You know what? We can do this. We've got we can make tin bars, um, and then we've got the small saddle bag. The, uh, not enough technology. Okay, we can't do any of these guys. We can only do the saddle and the small saddle bag. The saddle at the very least, but the small saddle bag would be nice. But that, those two alone, that's a thousand points. And, yeah, fortunately no wool for the small saddle bag. So we, this is all within our means. But the approach that I'm going to take, okay, it, that is not critical at this point. Um, what's more critical... Oh, hey. Hello, rabbit. What's more critical is the, uh, how much the horse is going to cost. And I think what we're going to do is we are going to go and pick out a horse. Fur and... No! No! Fur and wooden bolt. Why am I putting that in there? That's not... That's wrong. People are going to be, like, spitting out bits of fur. <laughs> hey, how did we get fur in the food supply? Yeah, don't look at me. I didn't do it. Uh, nope. Uh, there we go. And, okay. I think we're in good shape. Now. <clears throat> My weight's at 21. My money's at four, almost 4,000. What am I doing? Sorry, I'm just thinking. All right. How much can I carry? Can I carry 50 kilograms of flax? Wow. That's a thousand flax. Well, all right. <laughs> all my people are working in the field. Nobody's... Guys, guys, come on. Here, look. 
cold and miserable. Light, up, light yourself a fire. I don't mind. It's all good. So what I'm going to do is uh, we're going to make a bit of cash. Is this going to take a while? Oh, wait a minute. Is this going to take a while? Yes. Yes, it is. But look at that. Flaxseed. Two, three. Oh, oh, did you hear the pig? <laughs> so um, what I think I'm going to do is a couple of things. The first is I, I just want to get a little bit of cash um, available in case I can do something right away. But So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put together some things for uh, some money. I'm going to put together some money that so it, that I can so I can go out and I can get some cash in case I can buy a horse. I don't remember how much they cost. Uh, it could be horribly expensive, and I'm not going to get an adult horse. I'm going to get a colt, or a, like a, I'm going to get a young a young horse. And so that's that's the plan. Um, and I'd like to be able to get a young horse uh, now if I if I can. So so that's why I'm trying to scrape the money together so that. If I go up there, I see what I want, I can get it right away, as opposed to going, oh, well, okay, that's going to cost me 8000 I don't have 8000 I'll have to go off and do a bunch of stuff and then come back and get it later. No. Rasimir wants a horse, and he wants it now. <laughs> but the thing is this. So, we were looking at the saddle. We have an idea of what we need for the saddle. It's going to take a 1,000 coins, but I'm not going to get an adult horse. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get a young horse that's... Uh, that I can raise myself. It saves a little bit of coin and uh, gives me a bit of time to come up with the equipment around the horse. Because there's something else coming up that we need to really get a uh, handle on. And I just want to get the horse now so that I can give it a chance to grow, right? Uh, to become a young horse that I can actually use. But that's going to take a couple of seasons because they have to grow up. In the meantime, I need to expand housing because we got a lot of pregnant ladies. So that's that's the plan. That's where I'm going with all of this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, uh, well, I'm going to be doing this for a little while. So I think rather than have you uh, force you to sit here and watch me uh, thresh flax for forever, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to say uh, thank you very much, everyone. Until next time, where we see if we can get ourselves a, a horse. <laughs> you all have yourselves a great day. Bye-bye.